Okay guys, so today we are going to make some more maps, um, one of which will be a maze. Well, actually two of them will be mazes, and we're going to do another cutscene. So we're going to start by making the mouth of our cave, so go ahead and make a new map. Okay, and now we have to put our transfer player command in, so double click on one of the spaces and double click in there and go to tab 2 and transfer player and choose where you want them to show up on your next map for the cave opening. Use Control um, C and Control V to copy and paste it so that the um, transfer player event is on both squares so that no matter where they walk, they're going to go to the next screen. Okay, and then you got to make your transfer player for the mountain cave opening so that if your player wants to go back to the town, he can. Okay, and now you have to make your next map, which is going to be a cave, so just choose any of the caves out of the tile sets that works for you. I am going to use the fire cave tile set. Okay, so some of you might remember in tutorial um, 3, or map 3 tutorial, um, we went over battle processing. We're gonna talk about that a little again today. Um, underneath troops, this is where random encounters can happen so that you can have um, different troops of enemies attack your player. Um, all you need to do is uh, double click under the troop and you get to choose who you want in to encounter your character and then the average steps underneath are the amount of steps in between each encounter. So 30 is a pretty base level. If you make it higher, there, the encounters will happen less. If you make it lower, the encounters are going to happen more frequently. So if you choose to make a maze out of this map, you're going to need to make the map much bigger than the um, standard size. So 
so this auto tile here that I chose, your character cannot walk on. Whoops. Gotta put it on pencil. And so if you make your maze out of that, you're just gonna draw up a maze that your character will have to go through. Um, and only one of the end tunnels that you create is going to have the exit to the next map. So just go ahead and make your maze. Okay, and go ahead and make your next map, and you're going to just do another fire cave or whatever kind of cave you like, um, and remember to change your size of your map if you're going to do a maze because you need more room to create. Okay, so here we are going to create an event and we are going to go to the event panel and just double click any square. We are going to make a villain. So we're going to make him walk down towards the character. So just figure out where your character is going to spawn. Um, and then count how many squares it takes to get your, to your character. If you overcount the squares and add one extra and he's going to run into your character, like be, try to be on top of him, it will just completely stop all all commands that come after this, so make sure you get the number correct.
Okay, and then we want him to disappear. So you're gonna do a control switch, self control switch A, so it turns the page. And when you make a new page, make sure it's blank with nothing on it. Okay, so we're gonna test it out. So you need to cut and paste your starting position. So you can just test this one little spot to see if this came out. Which, spoiler alert, it didn't, and we had to go back and fix something. Did you spot the problem with my original commands? Yeah, it says to move the player and not this event. So I went back and changed that, and then there's one other thing we had to fix after that. Also make sure, like I said before, to count your squares, because if you run into the character, it's not going to work. Okay, so the other thing you needed to fix was adding weights in between these commands so that it had enough time to actually do the commands. Otherwise, it just kind of springs over his head turning in different directions. So about, um, ten, I think I did 10 frames in between each, which is about half a second, seemed to be a good number. Okay, and that completes the lesson, and then uh, the next tutorial will go over us finding the um, crystal, and I'm going to make a maze out of this map for you before that, so you don't have to watch me do it. And then we're going to um, go to our next town. Alright, I'll see you then. Bye!